that. Show me the world on it. Okay guys, we've arrived at our hotel, Sib Kao. It smells so delicious in here. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know something that I forgot to mention and I should probably mention. Yaku taxi drivers are by law supposed to follow the meter and they'll just throw a random number actually the ones at the airport anywhere actually we'll try to just haggle okay try to toggle you guys try to toggle tourists obviously because of English always always go by the meter okay we didn't waste no time we have walked on over to terminal 21 which is another mall here next to our hotel what I'm so yeah me too Kala and Kalwa and Halwa coming at you. Kalwa and Halwa. Kala, Kalwa and Halwa. Okay, anyway, so we're at this mall. It's never been here before, and we're gonna go inside. Okay, guys, we have arrived at Terminal 21. Yeah, we're gonna go inside. Okay, so we're at this mall. It's never been here before, and we're honestly thought that we were a little tired to go out, but Babe was hungry, and it made me hungry. So, who kids? Babe was kind of upset at me for not going to KFC enough. Yeah, I put you. We've once. only been there once. Twice, Babe. Twice. And the second time I asked for wings, they gave me nuggets. So he's very mad about that incident. I, I don't know how you can get that wrong. Language uh, barrier is quite a thing here. Um, and people told me something very interesting. Yeah, Thailand, ma, they don't have school. Yaku schools are ma, English. Like, you can take it as a course, you can take it as a class. Yeah, now they're, now oh, they're bon doing better. Oh. Are we at the Oscars? The Golden Gate Bridge, how cute! I get it now, guys. The mall is called Terminal 21 because each floor is dedicated to a famous city. You happy? We got our taza taza KFC. Thailand KFC is nice, spicy, buttery, juicy, better than any other KFC. Mm. Got some stuff, even boy. Um, I'm gonna go home now because we're tired. I'm sleeping. We're picking some of this weird fruit up because Bebu says it's good. Durian right next to it, but I don't want no durian. Second day of being back in Bangkok after Koh Samui. Ooh. Everything is just so neatly. There's just the use of plastic. The use of plastic in Thailand is insane. People will get a Shano pouch for their like coffees to go and like seems one, a little wasteful in one plastic bag oh they nice and gloomy i'm not like worried about my shoulders have become so dirty i'm trying to wear like a like a thin linny type of kapra just to cover my shoulders but uh as it's nice and gloomy it looks like it rained it's still only good yogi and drizzling hotel is called sib cow a little surprised by the size of it the room it's a very few like so people, what did you call it? J Japan Matthew pod. Like sleeping pods. Yeah, sleeping pod where style where it's very small and it's compact. Meant, it's meant to be for travelers who are on, on a budget go, yeah. and just need a quick stay for uh -huh. the night without having a lot of amenities. Uh -huh. So there's no swimming pool or nothing. Um, I don't know how exciting this Bangkok part two vlog is going to be because we're just going to shop. Honestly, we have a lot of it's things to shop for. Top. I have to buy some stuff for it. Yeah. Oh yeah, guys, this is gonna be yeah. That, oh yeah, guys, <laughs> that huge tower. That's Terminal 21, the mall we went to last night. That's where we're gonna be staying for our last two days in Bangkok, which is gonna be fun. We got an early start to the day. That's why we're on a hunt for a coffee shop, and that was kind of fun it's because we stayed at five different hotels throughout our trip. We got to try coffees from different places to avoid the generic Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, but of course, got some content for Instagram. Oh, this one opens at seven. We found this place called CPS Coffee, which was right by our hotel. They had amazing coffee and croissants. 
This is a little random clip that I included just to show you guys that they don't play around when it comes to their displays at the malls. It opens at 10, so we were a little early, so we decided instead to come to Big C, which is basically kind of like Nyaku Costco. You can get groceries, Luga, and all that. This is my first time here, so it should be exciting to see what's, what's here. We've asked two different staff members, by the way, which is so helpful and so friendly. It's amazing. Like, I'm not used to this kind of service. Sorry, people? Yeah. New York, they would be like, like mm. look for it oh, for yourself. Yeah. Over there, like right, right over there. Oh, you know? oh, oh. Yeah, and Nepal also, there, uh. that patini. But anyway, we found the dry fish that my grandpa was asking for. He's like, he's like, keep putting time to Malay as long as I get this fish. I'm at the fresh produce section, and look how clean this carrot is. That's amazingly clean. I don't even have to shave it. I just I think I eat it. I think Central World is easily my favorite mall in Thailand. It's a lot easier to get around, even if it's huge. And here's a little montage of me trying a bunch of different outfits. And they were playing really good music at this store called Pull and Bear, which happens to be, fun little fact, a sister company of Zara. Didn't get those white shorts because they were see-through. Didn't get that white dress because it was giving me beachy vibes. Didn't get that Tarzan slash Jane outfit because it just wasn't me. And then that orange dress was also not the best fabric. On to our favorite part. At the food court, I got this crispy chicken dish that was delicious and Bebu got some duck and sticky rice. Bebu has a little bit of a sweet tooth so we're getting one tiny, it's so mongo, 40 baht for Yota, tiny little disc. We want a budget okay Bebu especially after my shopping. <laughs> Both of us were feeling alikati lazy to walk around at the mall, so we decided to go watch a movie and hands down must be my favorite movie theater ever. Third movie. And this is our favorite theater. Oh, well, you haven't been here. We are watching Door. Oh. The My Now we're we'll just running out of movies to watch, baby. <laughs> The reason why I'm saying it's the best movie theater is because the sound quality was on another level and the seats were extremely comfortable. It felt like I was sleeping on a bed and watching a movie. So what are your thoughts? It was okay. It was, it was very much a parody. Mm -hmm. so I didn't realize it was so much of a parody. Uh -huh. um, what did you think? Because I know your ass fell asleep. I could have fallen asleep three times. Every time Bear fell so asleep, I just slapped him. I was like, wake up, yeah. this is your idea. <laughs> He's been saying he wants to watch Thor. I'll, I'll see. I thought it was entertaining. It just, But I haven't watched any of the Thor movies, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're all like this? Mm -hmm. Off topic, but watch the stairs. Yeah. I literally bought this at Uniqlo just because I was going to be cold. So I'm going to go return it. The tag's still on. Shout out to Bebu for getting me all this extra footage with his new little handy gimbal device. I was giving him a hard time because I didn't think it was worth the money, but looking back at this footage, it's super stable and just makes the footage look so much better. Look at what Bebu got. He's so happy with his little gadgets. Oh my goodness. What is that called, Bebu? Uh, gimbal. Gimbal? He thinks that I need to step up my video skills, guys. Y'all will think? notice. Comment down below if you notice a difference with whatever that is. A gimbal, sorry. Huh? What? I want to do two-way angle and see. Oh yeah, we're done with the movie. Babu hated it. I found it TK. It was kind of whatever, just movie. But the theater experience in itself was the most exciting because, my goodness, the surround sound speakers, the the projector, the screen itself. Anyway, we are at a place called Pizza Company. Um, it's a sit-down restaurant on the sixth floor of the mall, and we did a lot of shopping, guys. Like. Oh my god, I don't even want to show you the bags, but I'm a very like indecisive person too, so I'm a little nervous Kei Hunsa after I always go back to the hotel room, try it on, and if I really like it there also, then I'll keep it. But if I'm like not happy with the fit and stuff like that, I'll return it. But yeah. Show you the food when it gets here. Ooh, wow. Wings look divine. We haven't had cheese sticks since we've been here. Korean barbecue wings, oh my god, they're hot. Mmm. Good? Here's the pizza. Here you go. I think that was too fast. <laughs> yeah. Where we at, baby? Smells bougie. 
I don't know what it is about Bangkok, but so many of the malls, hotels, cafes have this like um, perfume going on or passport. It's like the whole place smells like jasmine or something even better than that. I don't even know what it smells like. It just smells clean and fresh. How do you guys like my new hat? I know I wanted a bucket hat, but then I saw this one from Mujit. I'm not saying a bad word. It is actually the store grenade. It's a lot more coverage than a bucket hat because look like how much it's covering my face, which I thought was more practical because you know sun protection. So yeah, I'll show you guys the room in a minute. We're next. We are headed to Siam Paragon, another mall. These guys are gonna judge me in the comment section so bad, saying, oh my god, she also does is shopping and eat, oh my god. Yes. I'm filming on the gimlet, what? Gimbal. Gimbal? Gimlet is a drink. So cool, and it like moves so... So stable. So stable, guys. Now you don't have to deal with my shaky ass hands. I saw some of your comments in the previous videos about wanting to visit Thailand and I highly recommend visiting during this time of the year. Not only is the weather a lot more pleasant but you can find tickets and room and board for a discounted rate and you get to see Deepika Padukone in real life. Just kidding. But this is Siam Paragon. This is one of the bougier malls. Like look at that door. Are you joking? What kind of door sorcery is that? I people have with their interior decor and their displays like I'm not talking just the mall mm. it's like restaurants cafes like it's so clever and so it's like they're competing with one another which is always my point is just further proven by this shot. I mean, look at the display at this restaurant. This is at a food court, and this is how they decorate their restaurant. Amazing. For my pork lovers, look at that crispy pork that just got some food from this little restaurant. We're at the food court. I'm at the mall by myself getting a, getting a garlic garlic pretzel with a strawberry lemonade just because I am dehydrated and your girl is thirsty from all the walking. Um, no, it's okay. Thank you. So this is the first time I'm alone without Bebu and I've gotten lost three times already. It's great to have somebody who's good with navigation skills, but he's not here and I suck at navigation. You have Jeremy, I'm just going to go with that. This is how you're combing my hair? <laughs> I took a shower, freshened up, did my skincare. But that was an intense day. I'm so tempted to go across the street and get a foot massage. But I'm like, okay, no more spending my money on massages because <laughs> Guys, I'm obsessed with the hotel that we're staying at. We're literally right above a mall, like huge mall. The one that I showed you guys, the one with um, the theme, sunny San Francisco, Japan, Kiki 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 Sunny. And the hotel is above it. We're on the 18th floor and the view, like Bebu took all that amazing footage of it. And even at nighttime right now, he just shut the curtains and I was like, wait, turn it, open it again. I want to see the view while we sleep. And then the bathroom, when you do susu pupu, the view. Anyway, guys, I can't be my loud ass self anymore because Bebu has a meeting that starts any minute now. So Boli is our last day here in Bangkok. We're flying back Borsi. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos probably and Go to bed. Okay, I lied. Bebu's meeting ended up ending a little earlier than usual, so we walked on over to the closest McDonald's. I know, I know, McDonald's, why would we go eat junk fast food? But we hadn't had McDonald's on our trip yet, so we had to. It's his fault we're here. I was ready to go to bed just because somebody's meeting ended fast. Until I said this is the last time you can pig out. Yeah. And of course. Made a quick little run to 7 Eleven for our coffee for the next day and some water. Oh my god, I guys, guys, I slept in a little bit, but look at Bebu. <laughs> That's a big pool. Such a pretty day. Wow. Apparently looking like this. I woke up at 6 a.m. Like, oh my god, okay. Last day in Bangkok, gotta do stuff whenever. I was thinking all that. I'm thinking about that and I just fell asleep thinking about that. But Bebu's in the pool. I'm gonna go join him downstairs, I think. I don't know. I'm still very sleepy tired before i do any of that i get to go to the bathroom with this view oh my goodness the day system that they got going on i need this in my life this is the best thing ever it even has a drying system what this pool is massive and look who's waiting for me i had to apply my sunscreen okay 
We have to let it sit for about 15 minutes. It's her last day here in Bangalore. <laughs> I could cry, you guys. This hat is the best thing that I've bought. Toto sun protection. You guys, life of a content creator. Of course, I had to get some more content for my Instagram. And here's some behind the scenes footage of what actually happens off camera. Wee. Wee. We just did a quick little photo shoot in the pool because this pool is so dark and sexy. Thought he thought. He leaves the pool with the gimbal <laughs> and Drugs runs it. a little slip up. He's going. 4,000 baht going down the drain. So much. Yeah. Hey guys, we came to Terminal 21 for Mall again and we're. I haven't had Japanese one since you've been here. Hello. Um, can we do the um, sashimi special? So this one? 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 Yeah. One. Yeah. one. Uh, salmon tataki. The ebi fry roll. That's this one. Yeso. Yeso balai. And one coke. Coke. Ooh. Very good. And at the liver, the liver pool. Store. Bebu's dad is a huge, huge Liverpool, Liverpool fan. Oh my god, I'm gonna get annihilated in the comment section. But Liverpool, Liverpool fan, so we got him some goodies from the store. We're back home, and now we're gonna go down to the other mall to get some food at the food court. This room is a total mess. I've laid out all my stuff so I can pack more efficiently. But look at this view, guys. One last time for old time steak. Okay, off to have our last dinner here in Bangkok. Um, oh, maybe I should get that from a. Uh, you think it'll still be there? Ooh. That Luca. Just staring at my bed. Ooh, I'm me. We're checking out of our beautiful hotel today. We're coming back to Nepal, and oh my god, I'm gonna miss the smell that they have going on in the lobby more than anything. Oh my god. I know, Ready to check in? No, I'm not ready. You're not ready. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. Our flight from Bangkok to Kathmandu was a three and a half hour flight, super smooth and so smooth to the point where Bebu passed out with his mouth wide open. Sorry to do you dirty like this, Bebu, but I had to. Hello, my niño. Hello, my niño. <laughs> Who did this? And Bhagyo. Can't even stay mad at her because she's the cutest little thing ever. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, no.